This video will show you how to get started in MapLine. Once you've logged in, you'll see the home page where you can click on all of your maps or on all of your data. To start, click on New Map, title it, and there it is. You can click on it to open the map. Now you can click on Add Spreadsheet Data. Click on New Data. Again, you have to name it. Now once I've done that, I can copy and paste data into this. So let's look at an example spreadsheet. You'll notice the column headers, name, address, city, state, postal code, segment, and sales. Somewhere in your data you need address info. It can just be a partial address or you can have a full address like this spreadsheet has. You can also have any other data in your spreadsheet like customer segments, sales numbers, anything. Select the data that you want to add. Copy it, paste it, hit continue. Just like that, it's processed. Make sure that you check it and hit finish. And there they are. So let's talk about the sidebar options. In the top left, there's a search box to search your locations on the map or to zoom in to a specific address. You can also easily share your map with others or embed it onto your website. The layers button will allow you to add additional layers to your map. That way you can have two or three or 20 different data sets on your map at once. And each data set will have a different colored pin. By clicking on the pin, you can change the color and the look of the pin. You can also hide or show data sets. Next to the data set name, there are a couple of buttons. You can use the labels button to display the names of your pins. Now, let's go deep. Check it out. This middle button is a filter. It allows you to have only pins that meet certain criteria show up. For example, in the spreadsheet, there is a column with customer segment. So on the map, you can easily show those locations from any customer segment. But let's dive even deeper. Of the customers in this segment, you can also filter to see which ones have high sales. Now let's look at the map. If you click on one of the pins, it will show you all of that pin's information. You can also overlay territory boundaries on your map, such as postal codes or counties or states. You can even color each territory based on your spreadsheet data, like if you wanted to color each state according to its total sales. You can also see your network service area by using the coverage overlay feature. Just enter the distance to see the coverage network of your locations. MapLine also lets you easily export a distance grid that has the distances between all of your spreadsheet locations. Finally, you can use the drawing pad to draw circles of a designated radius, add custom shapes, or place custom pins on the map. MapLine is incredibly powerful, and I hope you were easily able to see that from this video. Enjoy using MapLine!